Your Excellencies, it's a privilege to be here today. Um, we at Google are incredibly proud of what today stands for. You know, Google has been in India for a long time. It's our 21st year of being here in India. We have 14,000 people who work for us here in India. And in five different locations, we launched our cloud solutions in India several years ago. And we have two regions near New Delhi and Mumbai. We also are manufacturing our devices here in India. And India is home to so many of us. Um, today, though, we are incredibly proud with the support of the government of India the, and the state of um, on the Pradesh. We're very pleased to announce a new gigawatt scale AI hub in Vishakhapatnam. It's the largest AI hub that we are going to be investing in anywhere in the world uh, outside of the U.S. It represents a capital investment over the next five years of $15 billion. <laughs> and will scale to multiple gigawatts. Um, it is a part of a global network of AI centers in 12 different countries, but it is, as I said, the largest one that we will be building anywhere in the world outside the U.S. In addition to that, we are also pleased that we will be making Vishakhapatnam a global connectivity hub. We are bringing our subsea cable infrastructure and landing it in Vishakhapatnam. We will be connecting that to our global subsea cable network. And with that, we see it not just becoming a, a landing station for a large number of cables, but also providing a digital backbone connecting different parts of India together. So we are not just bringing AI technology but also a digital infrastructure through our subsea cable and network connectivity hub. Now you may ask what will be inside this AI hub? When we say an AI hub, we mean a full stack of solutions. Our own technology for, called TPUs, tensor processing units, that provides the foundational elements for AI processing, and they're very efficient. They're twice as power efficient, so for the same amount of electricity, we can generate twice the number of computational infrastructure. We will house data locally uh, to meet sovereign AI requirements. We will bring our own models, uh, and by our own models, Gemini, Imagine, Veo, and all of our models, as well as our AI platform, and the ability to build agents and applications with it. So it's designed to provide a full AI uh, you know, infrastructure, and it is designed to serve not just our own needs, but the needs of entrepreneurs, enterprises, and uh, commercial organizations here in India. So it's a broad portfolio of solutions. More, empower more importantly, this same AI technology that sits in the hub is also powering Google's most iconic consumer products and services. And so for the first time with the AI hub, we will also be bringing these services, Google Search, YouTube, Gmail, ads, and all our consumer services to be served from India in this AI hub. This long-term vision we have is to accelerate India's own AI mission by bringing our AI technology to serve the country. We see this as providing best-in-class AI technology to companies. You will see us investing in building training and skills so that India continues to lead with expertise. We see this as meeting 
the regulatory requirements of India's sovereign AI needs. And we see this as building a talent pipeline for the young people of India to learn and become world experts in AI. Finally, we see this hub not just serving India, but from India serving Asia and other parts of the world. Part of the reason we're investing in the connectivity hub and the network infrastructure is to connect this not just to serve all of India, but from India to serve other parts of the world as well. So thank you once again to the government of India, Chief Minister Naidu, and for all the support we've had. This is an incredibly important milestone date for us, a very auspicious day, and from everyone at Google, the warmest wishes to each and every one of you here and to the people of India. It's our small contribution towards the Vixit Bharat vision for 2047. Thank you. In a world where business never stops, Mint keeps you ahead any screen, any time. From studios to the ground, Mint breaks down business, leadership and lifestyle, boldly, visually and smartly. From boardrooms to markets, from personal wealth to industry trends, we bring you the insights that matter. Mint is doing brilliantly well. It's a well-read page, I would think. What fuels India's biggest CEOs? Ride along and find out. I have to work that much harder. I have to put that much more in. Over the years. Yes. Earlier I could say, no, you know, I can't up it. Yeah. But now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Want to invest like the pros? Learn from India's stock market experts. Things like that worry me about markets. I don't want to buy a house to invest in. Your money, your future. We make finance simple. Step inside, breathtaking homes, and the creative minds behind them. So we are at the house in Camellias. I think Camellias is the most expensive property in the NCR and probably the most expensive in the country. India's real estate scene decoded. No jargon, no fluff. Home buyers will have more bargaining power. It's a great time to buy a house as well. Some chase success, others create it. Meet the ones who made the impossible possible. I don't want to be a doctor, I don't want to be an engineer, I don't want to be an accountant. And that's the most fragile thing. Who it will go away? Oh, Tali, as he reena, it's not addictive. I said, boss, now it will be like We don't just talk business, we show it. And the world's watching.